Hey guys, this is Kib and today I'm gonna show you how I am doing the diagonal crossing like the one from Shibuya because you need to do some tricks in order to make it work even though in some cases you might see some really nasty things like cars overlapping themselves and so on but hey, it's not my fault, it's the game's fault or the mod fault or whatever but anyways, it's easier to show you how I've done this because many of you asked me already how to do it but first let's check out all the modes you need to subscribe to we need move it network anarchy node controller intersection marking tool traffic manager president edition and then we need procedure objects together with probable asphalt or instead of procedure objects and probable asphalt you can go and subscribe directly to crossing decal worn by avania we start by choosing the road we need to work on. Then set a new node to that road, which is a fixed node, and then and then set another node, which is the one that you, we will have to move exactly we have to overlap over the first node you have to move slowly they will not be perfectly straight in the end the shibuya intersection is also not straight but not that's that's the, the thing you have to do you have to just jiggle it ent until you see a diagonal crossing over there like in my uh, video over here step two the node controller mod so first you have to click on each of these two nodes in order to, you know, set exactly the offset for these intersections as you please, as you think they fit. Uh, also, I'm using the node controller to make all the markings disappear at the same time because this mode does that. But you can also hide them with probable asphalt. And then the second thing that we do, we are going to use the intersection marking tool to create the new crossings and lines that we need to have or we want to have in this intersection. But for the diagonal uh, crossing, I'm not going to use any of it. I'm just gonna pop it down later manually. Step three, let's use that uh, traffic manager president edition mod. First, we need to drag one of the nodes with the help of moving mode. And then let's just set the directions where we want each lane to go to. Uh, either turn left or turn right or go straight and so on. That's something you have to choose for your own type of roads because I choose three lanes and uh, two lanes for, uh, for these roads. And after that, make sure you are canceling one of the diagonal crossing. Then click on the button with the two little cars to make it green. This way cars will not stop or slow down in the intersection then make sure you are also going to forbid cars to park in the intersection or anywhere nearby and when you are done use the move it mod again and use ctrl z buttons to undo the moving of the nodes this way they will go back as they were step number four let's use the move it mod again to move the one of the nodes then use traffic manager president edition and let's set the timed traffic lights uh, for that you have to choose both nodes and after you choose the both nodes, let's just add the traffic lights or the times for the traffic lights. Usually I turn everything into red, in including the colors for pedestrians into red and also to manual. Do, do not leave it as auto. Set them to red and then set them to two seconds. Add these two seconds like five or six times uh, to have them there and then start by setting one by one intersection into green color. Now this is up to you how you want to keep this. I keep them as uh, 15 uh, seconds for the big uh, roads and 12 seconds for the smaller roads and then around 10 seconds in the end for the pedestrians. As you can see I'm moving each of these traffic lights uh, in between so we have two seconds when everything is red then we have the 15 seconds let's say for one of the intersections then again two seconds for everything red and so on the reason why I'm doing these two seconds uh, red colors is because otherwise you'll see either cars or pedestrians overlapping with, with, with each other because when the lights turn into orange or to yellow the, the other intersection will already start to move and that's not bueno you'll see a lot of uh, nasty things and when you are done just click on the start and watch a bit to see how the cars are driving. Now time to set the diagonal crossing. I went with the asphalt, turn into a procedural object and then turn into white color. Then just make it a per make a perfect rectangular and plop it down over and over again. You can use the decal from Avania or whatever you feel is good for you. I also turn the other uh, crossings to make them wider because they should be a bit wider than they already been. 
Now, that's it guys, you can start using your intersection. Now what, I'm gonna complete, you know what, the surrounding for this intersection. I wanted to have a nice area for you guys to see uh, the thumbnail and to see how things will look like in the end or whatever you can do there. This is just like a Shibuya intersection, let's say made in an European environment, give or take. My roads, this one, the big roads, they also have parking areas right next to the pedestrian area and I just want to get rid of those, I, I'm gonna forbid cars parking there but to cover that extra lane, let's say it, I'm gonna use the intersection marking tool to cover it pretty well. Now for the rest, it's up to you what you wanna do in your city. I'm gonna leave you with the rest of the time lapse in case you wanna see what I've been adding here or what ideas I, I brought to this. I'm gonna use the Berlin train station and a few other buildings from there and I'm gonna add even a few other roads but yeah in the end everything works perfectly I love it and I think that this kind of intersection it is quite useful for your city and also for very big areas where you have like a main train station metro stations and whatnot because there will be a lot of people walking nearby and it will be cool to see them crossing this huge intersection and don't worry guys i'm gonna forbid all those trucks driving through this intersection as well don't worry that was something let's say additional that didn't have to be you know done right now the main purpose of this whole video was to show you how i managed to find a solution to make a diagonal crossing guys thanks for watching click on the like button and leave a comment if you really like this video because not only that will help me a lot but i will know if you want to make or see uh, any other videos like this one tutorials or whatever call them whatever or you know what if you have a good or a better idea or you have a crazy idea or with something that you couldn't make in your city no, leave, leave it in the comment and maybe I will find a solution later for it and do a tutorial. Take care guys, cheers and I salute you.